Or a shell of one. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, pretty interesting article I just saw uh, here. It's about the Michi Michigan College. This is from zerohedge.com. It says Michigan College unleashes mandatory app to track students at all times. All right. Yes, you heard that right. All right. And before I carry on with the video, one thing I notice is they're they're getting people accustomed. All right. Which we always say this, but they're getting people accustomed to to everything like the way life would be with the chip. And the only thing that's left is the chip, man. There was a video that came out, um, started circulating. I saw it yesterday where before you enter the store. I believe it's to check your temperature or so. You either put your forehead or you put your wrist, your your right wrist or your hand to the to the sensor and then it'll it'll check your temperature. And it, at first before I read I read the, the title, I thought it was a chip. Cause that's 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 how the scriptures described it. I thought it was a chip that they were scanning. But what is that doing? That's getting you used to knowing the kind of places, all right, where where you, you usually scan, because that's where the chip is more likely gonna go now. It can go in any other part of your body, okay. But one of one of the de developers of the microchip had mentioned that the uh, um, in order to 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 because the chip, it's not like you gonna unplug it and charge it and plug it back. So in order for it to to be rechargeable, you know, and and, and have energy, they had to put it in the part of your body that has the most rapid uh, changing of temperature, okay. Which they found out to be your um your hand, all right, and your forehead under your hairline, okay. So it's not it's not by coincidence that they decided to put it there, all right. Which is what John the Apostle saw. Now, anyway, this is uh, interesting here. So let's read this. And one thing you know about these colleges or these states is that once one of them does it and they they it seems like it's it's success successful, the rest starts to follow suit. So it says colleges that are reopening campuses this fall. Understand, um, understand outbreaks of COVID-19 are certainly possible on school grounds and in the surrounding communities. To safeguard students against the virus, Albion College, located in Al Al Albion, if I'm saying that right, Michigan, is requesting all students to download a smartphone app that tracks their location to create a COVID bubble. Very interesting. All right, and here it says they're requiring it. Okay, let's read some more. According to Washington Free Beacon, Al Albion College's COVID bubble <clears throat> uh, will require students to stay within a 4.5 mile perimeter of the school. Hmm. If students violate bubble rules, such as stepping outside of the bubble, the app will automatically notify school officials who would slap the violator with a temporary suspension. Whoa. So there's a COVID bubble, and you gotta have a, a an app that basically allows them to track you, and if you breach that bubble, the the app will let them know, and they could come come get you basically. What 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 is this? They turn a college into a prison? <laughs> That's crazy, man. It says the move to track students comes as college health experts and government officials. Uh, have been in several months of dispute about reopening for the fall semester. Many schools are opting to remote courses to mitigate the spread of the virus, though such actions will be disastrous on enrollment and school budgets. Readers may re uh, recall a higher education uh, bust is on the way and uh, one where the virus pandemic accelerated the trend. It says, so far, not everyone is thrilled about Al Albion's reopening plan to maximize a contact tracing app. Students and parents had had this to say. So so this is a part of contact tracing, man. And that's ultimately what they want to do. They, they first made it sound like, no, we're just going to track this person and then this person. No, they ultimately want to track everybody on a, on a constant 24-hour basis, as in they want to see where you go. Now... The thing about this is, what if, because this is what I thought of, what if they just leave their phone? What if they leave their phone in their room and then they, they still breach the bubble? How would you know that? You know? So now they got to come up with something more, more sure plan. 
Anyway, he says, uh, if a father of the Albion student said that he is upset that he must choose between keeping his daughter home from school or signing off a university-sanctioned invasion of privacy. Do you hear that? <laughs> it says, the school wants my daughter to sign a form consenting to specimen collection and lab testing. What? What in the world? <laughs> I'm going to read that again. The school wants my daughter to sign a form consenting, consenting to specimen collection and lab testing. Boy, man, if you go into them colleges, man, all right, if you go into them colleges and you dorming, hey, be careful, man. I got this friend who keeps mentioning, like, yo, she's like, yo, first time I went, you know, it, it was it was, it was, was okay, but now... I just keep getting this bad feeling. She said it twice already. You know, I keep getting this bad feeling like I'm not coming back. And, you know, I I, I gave her some advice. I said, don't go. But, you know, people in today, they're just like, nah, I got to go to school. I got to finish. Da, da, da. But, hey, it's not about that. Okay? The the narrative of, of, of society is about to change real quick. People about to forget about the successfulness in this world. You're going to try to be successful to live. You're going to try to, uh, 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 you know, your mindset is going to change from uh, let me get a degree to how am I going to get food to eat. You know, like people really need to understand that. All right. All these things are temporary, man. It's weird. What the hell is a college degree going to do for you when all hell breaks loose? And how sad would it be that in the midst of you busting your ass, you done done all this work and you're in the middle of about to get about to graduate and all hell breaks loose. Then what? What was the point in all that? So it says, um. You know, I'm not saying anybody should go drop out. I'm just saying, you know. So, <laughs> this is crazy, man. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read it again. The school wants my daughter to sign a form consenting to specimen collection and lab testing. He told the Washington uh, Free Beacon on condition of anonymity. All right. I have a ton of concern with that. Why is the state of Michigan's contact tracing not enough? All right. That you need to do uh, specimen collection and lab testing? What the? What? Yo, it says those students are required to remain on campus. Professors and administrators are not. When asked about this potential loophole in its COVID bubble, the school declined to comment. Mm. Interesting. Rising senior Andrew um, Arz Arzolowicz uh, said that he is upset with both the mandatory use of the app and the manner in which students are being treated. I feel like I'm, I'm being treated like a five-year-old that cannot be trusted to follow rules. <laughs> More, wait till you start getting treated like a prisoner. You're going to wish you were getting treated like a five-year-old then. It says, Arz Arzelowick told the Free Beacon, if the school believes masks work, why are we not allowed to leave if they work? Hmm. It does not make sense. It does not make sense to me. The Washington Free Beacon. Yep. If the mask works, why are you taking more, more drastic measures? <laughs> why can't they leave? So that means if if you're registered as a student here, you you your ass is staying on campus all throughout, or staying within the bubble. Albion's courses um, will only be offered in person. What? <laughs> you hear that, man? Albion's courses will only be offered in person. I thought I thought the, the the smart thing to do was to actually switch them to remote learning. But you know why it's in person? Because they want to be able to uh, test out, you know, how it's going to go, how people are going to react dealing with this, uh, having a, a contact tracing app, having to stay within a bubble, you know, having, you know, these kind of things. All right. It says, and students who reject downloading the tracing app will be deferred to the spring semester. So if this was your last semester before you graduate, oh, now you got to wait another semester if you don't want to take this, uh, download this uh, tracing app. All right. And that's pretty much it on that, man. But hey, Esau is not playing, man. He's moving very, very quickly, man. Within, look at how the world was before this pandemic and look at it now. It's, it's been a couple of months. Okay. And they they've they've already you shouldn't fear the, 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 the COVID. You should fear the, 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 the measures that and the laws that they're gonna put in place using COVID as an excuse. All right. This one is wild. But it's only gonna get crazier. Now this is Psalms twenty one and eleven. It says for they intended all right, for they intended evil against thee, they imagined a mischievous device. 
which they are not able to perform. Why? Because ultimately, everything that they've been um, uh, planning and plotting, the Most High is going to intervene and destroy that. All right. Micah chapter 2 verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right. So these people, what? They devise iniquity, man. All right. They, they come up with these plans. All right. And ultimately, their goal is to hit that new world order. All right. So they think about that, meditate upon that, and they bring out different laws and different measures and different ideas and different pandemics. Okay. These are all evils and iniquity that they devised and they brought it to light because they have the power to. All right. Pursuant to Job 9 and 24. But anyway, that's pretty much it. All right. We're going to keep our eyes out for uh, more news. All right. That's coming, man. These coming months should be some very interesting months. All right. So with that, I hope this was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha, Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.